very importantly, uh, there is a lot of data that is generated in a factory. When we talk to com customers, 80 to 90 percent of the data is wasted. So we are delivering solutions on how you take the data, contextualize it correctly, and extract battery-specific intelligence. And I'm going to emphasize battery-specific. Dashboarding is okay, but not enough to solve the quality problem and scrap rate problem. Hi, this is Greg Schultz, back with Charge Magazine. I'm joined today by Puneet from Siemens Digital Industries Software. And he's going to tell us a little bit more about how they're helping out in the EV space. So how is digital transformation going to be used to address challenges in the battery industry? First of all, thanks for having me. Um, so the way we look at it, battery industry is very much like when me and my grandma are baking cakes. Battery manufacturing is exactly the same as cake baking. You mix something, you spread, at the end you go and bake in, in an oven. But just because I and my grandma know the same recipe, we don't create the same quality of cake. Very much the same thing is happening in the battery industry. People know what it will take to make the high quality batteries, but it is very experience driven right now. And as you can imagine, a lot of that experience is in Asia Pacific. What we are looking to do is how that knowledge, even for those companies, which is logged in the experience of certain people, how that can be democratized so that they can scale up along with the new companies who are coming in this fray. And in that process, digital transformation is key. If you look at battery, it is, for its engineering and manufacturing, you have to deal with chemistry, electrical, electronics, mechanical, system software, all of these domains need to come together to engineer the right battery, manufacture the right battery. So the, the traditional practices, they are not good enough. They are more siloed in, in their practices. And that's what we are trying to solve so that the companies can account for all of these domains, the trade-offs upfront, so that they can engineer batteries in a fast way, manufacture them in the right way, and they are not just logged by the experience of manufacturing. How are you shaping the battery ecosystem here in the US? To shape the US battery ecosystem, a couple of things are needed. How we can help companies to move fast so that they can scale up quickly to meet the at the right cost and quality level. How we can help companies to unlock the innovation, not only for the battery technology of today, but battery technology of tomorrow that can be solid state battery, sodium ion battery, and all of those technologies. So these two are the key elements to you know, unlock the battery ecosystem. So to do that, we are doing two things. We are bringing our digital twin solutions so that companies can try new concept, digitally evaluate what makes sense before they take it to the prototyping and testing. And when it comes to time to scaling up, which is a big issue, how you go from lab scale to pilot to giga scale. It's not just about buying a large space and setting up factories, what kind of machines you want, how all these machines need to be connected together, how you're gonna do the actual manufacturing. So for that we are bringing automation technology, the knowledge, we are becoming that glue between the cell manufacturers and the machine builders so that all the machines can come together, talk to each other, and very importantly, Oh, there is a lot of data that is generated in a factory. When we talk to com customers, 80 to 90% of the data is wasted. So we are delivering solutions on how you take the data, contextualize it correctly, and extract battery-specific intelligence. And I'm going to emphasize battery-specific. Dashboarding is okay, but not enough to solve the quality problem and scrap rate problem. But if those data can tell us where the problem is happening in the manufacturing process, we can give that information, feed it back into the factory to uh, accelerate the quality uh, challenges and uh, lower the scrap rate. So those are the things we are focusing on with our solutions of digital twin, automation technology, but also data intelligence and generative AI that is putting all of these things together. How is your technology helping to drive innovation? Our technology is 
very well resonating with the battery ecosystem, material developers, cell manufacturers, companies who are putting those modules and packs, system integrators can be like automaker or energy storage system, as well as recycling. So we are bringing solution that to help this whole ecosystem of battery. And it's not just about large enterprises, a lot of new startups and JVs, they are coming to us, they want to be bond digital company. One of the big bottleneck is, it takes a lot of testing for you to figure out which is the right chemistry or the design that you need to take to production. What we are looking to do is how we can help that cycle of testing and make that testing more effective for companies. So it, virtually the engineers can go from material level to the end system level and see what are the implications. And that sets them right so that rather than doing blind testing of a large DOE of every permutation combination, they are more educated about what they need to go and build and test. What is your role now in Battery Passport? Great, so again, the, if you look at it, come 2027, EU is mandating that any battery more than two kilowatt hour needs to have a passport. And this is a path-breaking regulation in a way because it's gonna demand a tremendous amount of traceability and transparency across the whole supply chain. And that doesn't exist today. The passport brings that, you know, very needed but critical regulation. So in order to help companies in that, there are three things needed. One is have a secure digital passport book that companies can use, ensuring that their data is protected, their IP is not getting exposed, and they are meeting all the regulations. From Siemens side, we are uh, building a battery passport platform that companies can leverage to adopt. Big challenge is what data you have to put in there, where does the data reside that you need to go and put in the, in the, in the, in the passport. And that's where Siemens, our power comes into play. The data that is coming out from the manufacturing facility, that goes to our system, our PLM system, our MES system, our uh, automation technologies. So what we are looking at is how we can make the data easily available to not only the system integrator, but also cell manufacturer, pack supplier, material developers, so they can provide the data that they need to provide easily and is current and accurate. And the third thing we are also working on is once the data is in passport, companies are looking to see what I can use that data to. So can I tell what is the uh, remaining life of the battery? Can I tell how should I be changing the behavior of usage or most importantly, once they understand how the battery is being utilized in a real world, can they change something in the design or manufacturing of the battery because they better understand the usage. All of that knowledge is embedded in the data that will gonna come in the battery passport. So from Siemens side, we are also working to bring what we call digital solutions. Our solution and vision is based on those three pillars. Get the secure cloud-based passport book how to get data in that passport book easily. And once the data is in the passport book, how to make that data work for the whole supply chain. Well, thanks very much. We really appreciate, appreciate the time and insight.